What is the best part of Kill La Kill? Let's be honest guys, I could sit here and lie, but I love Kill La Kill for the same reason most people do. It's kind of impossible to miss, honestly. And that's good, because sometimes the point is to shove it in your face a little. Sometimes it's subtle, other times it might cover the entire screen, but it's always there. A central unifying theme that is explored and iterated upon, and follows the entire show from beginning to end. The Typography Let's talk titles. A good title design should provide a bite-sized snippet of whatever show you're about to watch, a perfect reflection of tone and style. Take for instance, the title for Sword Art Online. It perfectly encapsulates the energy of the show by being unappealing and bad. Now, as an experiment, let's put ourselves in the mind of a person responsible for making titles. What do you do for a show whose tone and style looks like this? Here, we have the original katakana for Kill La Kill. Now the first thing you're going to notice about this is this is terrible. What is this? These thin strokes, so brittle, what does it even say? I have to bust out my cheaters just to even see it. Boom. Much better. Now this is a title. You can finally see it. Can you read it? Who cares? Reading is for nerds. This show is for cool people who like graphic sex and violence. Every minute spent reading it is a minute you could have been looking at this big ass on screen. Now, let's make it red. Why? Because these letters are actually the flying debris from a fight in the school courtyard stained with the main character's blood. Blood? Nah, blood. This is one of my favorite titles ever. Kill a Kill's type is inspired by old tokusatsu posters, meant to be imposing, eye-catching, and aggressive. Cute cat? Now it has a gun. Birthday cake? Sorry, it just had sex with your wife. The strokes are thick and bold, with the negative space between them kept to an absolute minimum and only the tiniest sliver of spacing between characters to distinguish them from one another. The goal of Kill La Kill's type is less in being legible than it is taking up as much space on screen as possible. Take for instance, the Hanoji Academy Boxing Glove Athleticism Augmenting 2 Star Gloves. <laughs> I love how the type itself is often incorporated into the environment, like in this shot where Ryuko's name starts to tuck behind the students in the foreground or this tracking shot of Hanoji Academy with the school's name hovering overhead. It's less about what the titles say than it is their presence. Kill La Kill often explores themes of hierarchy, power, and class. Under Hanoji Academy's dystopic system, where your school uniform determines your social standing, titles are very important. No Star, Club President, Elite Four, Student Council President. In a sea of faceless goons, having your own title grants you identity. It gives you power and status over others, power that can be stripped away just as easily as it was granted. Some titles are bigger than others, and then you have a character like Nui, who's so insanely powerful she just plays fucking tiddlywinks with her title. The text grants things a sense of importance, decisiveness, finality. Every time Ryuko does her finishing move the text appears on screen, so during the fight with Gamagori when the attack fails, Gamagori spins around and shatters the text with his uniform. Kill Kill's type has so much personality and presence that it's almost a character in itself. It's an inseparable part of the show's identity, so much so that it wouldn't be the same show without it. Maybe that's why it's the first thing on screen in episode 1, and the final thing on screen before the show ends in episode 24. It's typography at its best, and it's the main reason I love this show so much. Also, there's big ass titties everywhere. <laughs> 